Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the oil heads in these old John Deere two cylinders. Um, we'll talk about kind of what they consist of, uh, but but mainly what this video stems on is people having questions or comments um, in relation to the bolt br being broken off inside the oil head. Um, and, and it'll be kind of what it takes to fix it, take it apart, and um you know re replace it get it back to working so the the number one starter for this video w would be when you're tightening the cup on your uh, for the oil filter the cap by the way this uh, bolt here is not part of this when this comes off it, it shouldn't be but it was part of what someone took out here and i had parts for it um but do not over tighten this as you're trying to seal the oil filter. If you do, that is when you break basically the end of this bolt in that oil head. And it's a real pain, um, you know, to take this apart and fix it. So once you do it, I'm sure you will never do it again. All right, so let's get a little familiar with the oil head setup uh, in the tractors. So uh, I'll show you a picture here from one of my early B videos, and this is showing the oil head canister, uh, in, uh, in, or really oil filter canister inside the crankcase. Now, um, the oil head here is what sits on top of that canister, and how it's supposed to work is this bolt is actually supposed to be threaded into it, and you insert it from the top and set it on that uh, canister. Now note there is a gasket that goes between that canister and this oil head. Um, there are three bolts that attach the oil head to that canister, but a couple things. Uh, those bolts also hold together the oil head itself. Um, and, and you have to get to these bolts from underneath the tractor through the canister. Uh, so let, let's talk about that a little bit uh, more. I guess let, let, let's start from the bottom uh, because if you go to take it apart, you know, you'll, you'll take your end cap off here. And again, there's no bolt on this. Um, you've got some sort of like washer here. You've got your cap. There'll be a spring in here. And there's supposed to be some other sort of washer that that is missing. Let me show. So spring, some other washer, the big washer. And there's supposed to be another little washer um, that that holds the plate on top of that spring and such. Then there's a snap ring in this groove here, and this kind of end bolt. Uh, but that that. So that holds that assembly all together. It, you know, sometimes the spring is missing from there. Sometimes the snap ring uh, is broke off. So you'll find that. So you take that off. And then if you look up inside the canister housing, you'll see this piece in there. Okay. And in order to get the oil head off and disassembled, you got to take this, this piece off. There's a special tool that the manual says to create to get this piece off because it's kind of jammed up in there. So when you install it, you actually find something that'll sit over this rod and you hammer that on the end up in there. Um, kind of like a div diverter plate. But they, they have two holes in this piece that you use. Um, you get some steel rod, you bend it in a certain way and you use it to, to grab those holes and, and hammer it out. I have a video on making uh, that tool. What you need to do, I'll put a link in the top right and also in the description if you want to find it later. Uh, so you got to get that out. This can be a pain to get out. So trust me, watch my video um, and uh, hopefully that will help. All right, so once you've got then cap off, your oil filter out, and you've got that piece off, you know, you've just got your um, stud here sticking down into the canister. You've got your oil head on top. With that removed, you can now access the three bolts to the oil head. Again, this is up through the canister. 
So you'll um, probably before all of this, you'll want to take all of the oil lines off the oil head. That can be a real pain. Uh, open up your crankcase cover. It's going to be a lot of reaching down in. Hopefully you're a small guy, small arms, small fingers. I mean, anyone can do it, but you know, all, all of that helps. Um, short, stubby wrenches will be your best friend. Uh, because you know you're dealing around the crankshaft and things like that. Uh, I have done it myself, um, and I'll talk about why I did it. It was not because the stud was broke, but for another reason. Um, so, getting those oil lines off. Good luck to you. Uh, you take these three bolts out from underneath, so you'll need a real long extension up through the canister. And then the oil head is actually two pieces. So you pull the top up and out. And then, of course, this is what's sitting on the canister. So you've got your gasket underneath it. And then there is a gasket uh, between these two assemblies also. So this is where if someone has over-tightened this stud, it is going to break off inside this oil head. I know it's kind of dark. Um, and, and odds are you will have to replace this oil head. I don't, I don't think normally it's the bolt that's broke up in there because people say the, the stud will just spin and spin and spin and it won't tighten. That's because the threads are broken here. Uh, one other note in this oil head, there is a spring here when you take this apart. Do not lose the spring. Uh, it's very important. This is like a, a bypass leaf valve, so if the filter gets clogged, uh, it actually pushes up against that, and then there's a, a bypass hole uh, right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, and of course the, the spring tries to keep that closed, so you don't want to forget that. Um, so anyway, yeah, all of this in order to take apart and, and fix this piece here. And to get it back together, it's you know quite simply the reverse. You'll you'll set this on top. Uh, you know, make sure you get this in the right orientation. Don't forget your gasket. Uh, one other thing, the canister. So a lot of times, same thing from over tightening, people will kind of indent the top of that canister because they pulled uh, this oil head too hard on top of that canister. So if you have this all apart, take a ruler, run it across the top of that, that canister. And uh, if you need to, take something and pound it up and flatten it out. Um, because, you know, you want that gasket here. You want that to stay sealed. Um, so, so put your gasket on. Hopefully it's flat. You'll stick this in through the crankcase. I got this the wrong way. Don't forget your gasket in between there. You know, make your own cereal box, gasket maker, paper, whatever. So then once this is sticking through the canister, um, the two there are two lengths of bolts. Kind of the one that's in the center is your short bolt, typically. And then you've got your two long bolts on whatever side that is facing the tractor. And then you'll want to find, um, I think before I found like a pipe that was just the right size or, or something that, you know, will go over this stud and this slips on, hammer that on. Um, that, that doesn't go very far. It, it's just like, I don't know, can't even see here. It's not like a groove or anything. It's just kind of a, I think this is a little bit taper here and you shove that up in, uh, put your oil filter on and then your end cap so hopefully that this will help someone like i said i get questions on it i just had another question on it the other day and uh it's a big problem you see it a lot on the facebook groups people asking about it um so you know you can go to you know, john deere or you know your parts dealers to get your parts um, but yeah, so if anyone else has any questions, uh, let me know. I'll answer in the comments. 
Uh, if you guys are working on this, good luck to you. Like I said, it's not the easiest job. Oh, and I'd mentioned I had done this before. I done it before because I was silly and I forgot the spring in there. I had the tractor all uh, together, almost together, crank crankshaft in and everything, and I forgot the spring. So don't forget the spring like me one time. Um, you don't want that oil uh, to, to be bypassing the filter even by chance. Uh, let me know what you think. Thumbs up. Uh, let me know if this helps. Uh, you can email me at danielfarmchannel at gmail.com. Let me know what projects you guys are working on. I'm interested in hearing. Uh, you know, via email, you can send pictures to me. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think I have too much of an update going on for myself. Hopefully, some uh, another video coming soon. So. Uh, we'll all talk to you later. Have a good day.